Senate Republicans have vowed that their first act under President Trump will be repealing Obamacare, but they've met a potential roadblock in Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky. Paul was the only Senate Republican to vote against the budget resolution being used to repeal Obamacare. He says it adds way too much to the national debt, and he's trying to get House Republicans on board with stopping it for that reason. Senator Paul joins us now. Senator, it's great to see you. Great to be with you. So I watched your uh, career from the very beginning, and I certainly pay close attention to your presidential run, in which you said, my first act, or one of them, will be to repeal the abomination that is Obamacare. And now, irony of ironies, you appear to be preventing that? Well, actually, not quite. Um, as a physician, probably nobody is offended by or is against Obamacare more than myself. I've seen it up close. I've seen it firsthand. I'll do anything to get rid of it. However, I don't want to have to vote for a budget that never balances and a budget that adds $9.7 trillion in debt in order to get to it. What I've told my colleagues is, why don't we introduce a good budget, one that balances right. and then repeal Obamacare. The way the rules of the Senate and the Congress are, you cannot repeal it until you pass a budget. But why does it have to be a bad budget? We're not getting any Democrats to vote for the budget. This isn't a compromise with Democrats. We're right. going to vote for a budget. This is a Republican product. Why should it not be a vision of a conservative budget, of fiscal conservatism? Why should it be a budget that adds so much debt? I think it's a fair question. You also said, though, that we should, and I'm quoting you, we should repeal Obamacare, but partial repeal will only accelerate the current chaos and may eventually lead to calls for a taxpayer bailout of insurance companies. You, you wrote that. I understand that reasoning, too. My question, though, is that Republicans have promised, if they were ever to achieve power, both chambers and the presidency, to repeal Obamacare right away. Why hadn't they thought this through? <laughs> Good question. Here's my point. The same time we vote for repeal, and I will vote for repeal, we should vote for replacement on the same day. Okay. There are many ideas about how we would replace this. We should expand health savings accounts so people can save to buy insurance. We should let them buy anything in the health savings accounts. We should let them pay for their insurance premiums mm -hmm. in their health savings account. You should be able to pay for a diet plan. You should be able to pay for an exercise plan. You should be able to pay for vitamins. You should be able to pay for a vast variety of things. Well, I agree with that. I bet I agree with every unlimited. idea you have on this. I just know I would. So do most Republicans. Then I'm why haven't they come up with an well, alternative? The They've been promising it for the years. Speaker, the Speaker of the House said we're going to have a replacement plan within a year yesterday. Really? We've been waiting for six years. Do we not have our replacement plan so, in but order? What's the, what's the answer? We do why have haven't it. they done this? I don't know. I'm putting forward a replacement plan. I put a replacement plan together, and it will be next week. I will release a replacement plan. It will involve expanding HSAs, buying across state lines, buying any kind of insurance that insurance companies want to sell, and it would also involve something very important, and that's invol uh, involving expanding health care associations. These are, if you have a pest control business, and you and your wife are the pest control business, you should not be in an insurance pool of two people. You should be allowed to associate right. with people well, across course. the country. If we do those things, the cost of insurance comes down, and you get rid of the pre-existing uh, Again, I buy all, everything you just said, but... Republicans have controlled the entire Congress for a while. You just got elected to your second term. You're hardly the most senior guy in the Senate. You have a leadership. They've been telling Republican voters for years they're going to right. do this. Why haven't they agreed on a replacement plan well, until here's, now? Here's the thing. There are 50 replacement bills out there uh -huh. that are in legislative language. I met with Congressman Tom Price, who's been appointed you know, to the cabinet. I'm supportive of him. I'm supportive of many of his ideas. Many of the reform ideas that are already in bill form are his. My point to him and to the leadership in the House is you have all these bills. Put together a replacement bill and vote on it on day one. But if you don't, the second we repeal it, we're going to be blamed for all of the unraveling of well, Obamacare. Exactly. And it, mark my words, it's going to unravel and unravel even quicker, and we are going to be blamed for the bankruptcy of the insurance companies that may come as a result. But also, I mean, and my last obvious question is, don't you think promises like this made by Republican candidates seeking office that they knew they could never really make good on are part of the reason that Republicans voted for Trump in the first place, because they didn't believe any Republicans who were already here in Washington. Yeah, but I don't know that we can't make, make good on these promises. We could put a good budget forward, we could repeal Obamacare, and we could put forward replacement the same day. So I will do this. Next week I will release a bill that has replacement, and I will do everything possible both publicly and privately, to make sure there's a vote on that bill. I can't guarantee there will be, but I'm telling everybody in my caucus, and I'm trying to tell the country, we need to have replacement the same day we repeal Obamacare. Good luck. Thanks. Senator Rampal, great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you.